Yes, keep on going, Miss Potato Cake King. I don't know what I do. My bottle is gone. Please, you gotta help me. Don't worry. I'll get to the root of this problem. Told me what happened. Oh, no, 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 you couldn't have. Uh, no more, no more. I saw Gatti, he was burying a body out in the bush somewhere. Just stop, just stop. Tell me where uh, it is. Um, you're going into the big house, Gatti, that's it. I'll stuff this, I'm going prospecting. Oh, when you're smiling, the whole world smiles with you. Gadzi here, Buckshot Prospector. I hope you're well, and I hope life is treating you well. We're on a search to find a new gold deposit today. I'm in the middle of all this gauze. I spent about 15 minutes cutting a track through all this, only to get to the creek, which was just a tiny little trickle. So now I have to find another access point. So. We're going to be doing a lot of cutting today and hopefully we get to another good spot. I went back to that spot that I uh, pulled all those nice little nuggets and pickers, but yeah, uh, it's not good anymore. So um, here's a couple of clips from that day. Not the best for the first pair. Not a huge amount. There's little scraps. So now I'm trying to access a separate creek that runs along the other creek that I was at uh, yesterday and don't buy what I saw uh, just before I don't know if it's actually worth even going down onto that creek because yeah it's pretty much just a trickle I want something with a bit more flow so I can actually pan so we'll see how we go I do want to try and find another nice specimen because a few people mentioned, and I, I kind of get it as well, that the specimen that I did find wasn't really river worn that much, and it was pretty reefy. So it wouldn't, I don't think it would have traveled way too far. You gotta think that that specimen was in the creek quite some time. So it would have naturally been worn down by rocks. So I'm thinking that it might be maybe 500 to 200 meters up above where we were working so maybe the main mission today should be just trying to get to that so uh, yeah oh we'll, we'll have, have a go anyway uh, yeah. ah, right so after crawling through all this damn gauze and cutting my way through i could have just taken a different track but uh yeah I'm sort of back where I did find that specimen, but my plan is to go upstream and also detect around here a bit more. Um, hopefully I might be able to ping something, I really don't know. So today is more exploring and I'm going to use the detector and hopefully I'll ping another specimen or something, maybe a nugget or whatever. 
But I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to get my sweatpants on and I'm going to have to try and cut my way up through here. I've just been talking for the last five, ten minutes. You're getting the abbreviated version. Some of you have left comments on my uh, videos and contacted me personally. Um, just saying that uh, they love watching the videos because they physically can't get out onto the creek. Um, so it feels like they're living living through me and being able to experience being out on the creek and for me that means a lot if i can share this experience and help other people feel like they're outside and being able to experience doing this experience the beautiful australian bush um yeah that means so much more than anything else like i yeah I'm going to cut my way through here because I can hear cascades and I've got a feeling that I might not have to do that because I think Chris might have come up here. It's kind of looking like he has actually. Oh, I might not have to do any cutting. I will get rid of this. I can tell he's not a gardener. Far up did he go? Oh, get out. Yeah, he's been here. Cut all this back. Daddy would have gone this far because it's beyond gumboot level. I oh, know he did. I'm hedging my bets that there's going to be bigger gold around here somewhere. There has to be. How did a bit of gauze get in my waders to begin with? Look at them! How? That's why, because my socks are covered in gauze prickles. Right, so now we can do some digging. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've got a little bit of a signal here. It's pretty high, but we'll dig it anyway. Um, yeah, see how we go. Now, I don't know where Chris has dug around here. We'll just wait and see, I guess. Got a double check. Triple check. Don't see any chunks of gold in here. Um, no, that's not good. I'm disappearing on me. Ah. That would be it. A big bolt. Well, the heavies are there at least. Not the kind of heavies I'm looking for though. Shit. Ah. Don't throw any away, Gadzi. About three specs. Mm. Couple of specs, not much. As I said, today's more about exploring and trying to find uh, a new deposit. Now I know Chris has been here, but he wouldn't have done everything. 
and there's plenty of areas to still detect and work so I'm thinking here before these cascades there's a bit of a trench here So I've test panned all along here and I'm getting nothing at all. There's just little specs here and there, but I haven't got anything maybe over 10 specs. I think what's happening here is there's just too much velocity of water coming through here when it's, it's pumping through here. And there's just nowhere for it to really sort of really catch or anything. Even though there's crevices and everything like that, it's just not the right kind of ground to um, yeah, capture any kind of gold. So my thoughts are that I might go and test another location because I'm just all out of luck at this spot. I mean, I've spent the last two, three hours looking around and just have had no luck at all. So I don't think it's really a smart choice to keep on hanging around here if I'm not going to get any gold, you know? Now knowing Chris, if he's been up there, he's probably found a whole heap of gold and I was just looking in the wrong places or he got all the gold that was in the obvious spots and I just came along and found the little bits that he didn't find. You have a good week and then you have a really bad week. And I think this might be one of the really bad weeks this week. Right, we're at the next location, hopefully. Um, we have a bit more luck on this creek. I don't know if I'm going to find any big specimens, but uh, Chris has found some nuggets on this creek before, and I've, I've had okay days here, but um, yeah, we'll see how we go. It's more about the venture than anything. I think I may have been here already, but I didn't test down. So that's what I'm going to do today. This creek has a serious pole. And I'm not talking about the video game either. No. For some reason this creek has got a really strong smell of sewage. I don't know why. But um, yeah, it's not the best panning into it. I thought this creek was going to be good for me, but it's been pretty shocking. All my test pans, I've got a few specs here and there, but nothing that's really worth digging, you know. I dug down to the clay layers and really got nothing there either. So, today's maybe just not my day for it, and other day as well. But we'll have a look at the gold of what I've got. 
and that's combined with what I got the other day as well so pretty much what you see is what I got the other day really see this is how it is you have a really good week and then you have a shocking week afterwards I'd say there's probably point two maybe maybe so yeah after today's fail mission and yesterday's fail mission I think going by the shitty smell of this creek this creek is shitty and today's been pretty shitty as well but now oh well that's how it goes I think what I'll do is I will go out and do something different tomorrow so I will see you then now I can put this hedge trimmer back just lean it up against here hmm hmm Huh, huh, huh. What? No, no, calm down, calm down, head stringer. No, no, ah, 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 ah. Fatality. And I'm back. I've decided to come out metal detecting today, hopefully, to get some gold or maybe some relics. I have. <laughs> Come with somebody that's hiding behind a tree over there. Mandy, Lady Leadshot. She uh, was on Vic Gold Hunter's um, previous um, videos, so you should go over and check her out. Mandy, she calls herself Lady Leadshot, so she's Mandy very. She doesn't do content. No, she doesn't <laughs> do content, but she's, yeah, she's very shy on the camera, but we'll, hopefully we'll get her some gold today and we'll, yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's get to detecting and see how we go. She's running the SDC, I'm running my Nocta Legend as always. We'll just see how we go. If I don't have any luck with the gold, I'm going to start looking for, for, um, for relics, yeah. It's just called out. She's got a nail already. It's a brick cat. Oh, there we go. Bit of history there. Awesome. It broke when I picked it up, unfortunately. So you found a nail around here as well. Yeah. A you might be on a side. And boot cap in Are there. you getting signals all through here? Yeah, I literally just got two signals. Dug them both and got two little yeah, relics. You might be on a site. Yeah, keep digging. We'll yeah. see. I don't think this is a. There's puddlers around here too, so oh, just well, be we careful. Touch them. No, we don't go near the puddlers. No. She's already got two things. Winners are good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, give us a yell if you do find yeah. any other cool stuff. No or, frogs. Yeah. Pretty high. Just a chunk of iron. Shh. 
shout out time. This week's shout out is going to Andrew from That's Gold or Oh That's Gold. He's based in Sydney, but he does a lot of prospecting around New South Wales. And yeah, he, he gets some good gold and he makes some pretty damn quality videos as well. Some bit different takes on um, just doing prospecting. So I highly recommend that you go over, watch all his videos, give him a like and subscribe. Always support one another out in the community and always stay humble. It looks like it's a handle of some description. Possibly, maybe for a fork. Because you've got a bolt thing there. But also, there's another one here, so. Hmm. It's a bit strange. Lady Lead Shot's already finding a lead. Oh, yeah, that is a. It's a chunky one. Yeah. Wouldn't want that in your eye. Ah, nail. Yeah. A bit of a bullshit um, shell casing. <laughs> bullshit, <laughs> bullshit shell. <laughs> yeah, Mandy's nail so on is <laughs> open. <laughs> yeah, you're doing better than me. I'm finding. I found one bit of junk. Yeah, I don't know. Is that a we need a get, we need a Glen here. <laughs> we need a, a Glen. <laughs> yeah, coffee bush. Come on, Andrew. Tell me what this thing is. Whatever it is. What do we got? Oh, we got something. It's a lid. It's got like the hinge on the edge of it. Hmm. That's pretty cool. We did get a lot of glass coming up out of this too. A lot. Glass. Stoneware. So this might be a little bit of a rubbish dump here. So all through here there must have been some habitation or something. I'm getting a lot of iron signals right through this section here. Um, kind of makes sense because it's right near some diggings. Mandy's down there, looking through there. Searching and searching. Definitely not finding any gold or anything. Mandy said she's got a nasty looking relic. Yeah. I have no idea what that is. No, but I'm glad I got it from the blunt end and not the other end. So we've uh, pretty much done detecting for today. Um, I think Mandy did a way better job with the finds than I did. I have barely got anything. We'll have a look. You got all the finds this time. We'll chuck them down on the on this. These are my finds: some junk, a nail, and a lid of something. I don't know what it is. That's pretty interesting, though. Yeah, that's probably the best find oh. of the day. Don't cry, Gatsby. Oh, oh no! Oh. She got a pull tab, that's a winner. <laughs> Look out. Yeah, so she got a oh, whole heap of stuff, like some nails, a lot of iron targets, a few nails, absolutely smashed it. We got all this lead shot here too, a lot of, yeah, wow. You did so much better. I don't know 
much. Yeah, a little those. boot, boot Ooh. heel thing. So yeah. Sorry I didn't find you any gold though. That's alright, yeah. we had fun. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Really We're, good day. It was great hanging out with you and meeting you in person. Yeah, you and too. You, now you have to go to another channel. And uh, no, <laughs> no, no. I was in the area, yeah. hanging out. Well, if you're, you're coming up in the next couple of weeks anyway. Yeah. So I'll try and get, I'll get Chris out as well and hang out. Cool. So, um, yeah, good hanging out. Good day, thank you. And I'll be going back and weighing up the little amount of gold that I've got. And yeah, so I'll see you back at home. Zero point three oh. I mean, I've had worse days. I've found nothing some days, and pretty much I didn't really get anything the second day of uh, panning. Uh, the first day, you didn't really see much of that because, yeah, it was a bit of a stuff around with the video completely, so that's why I skipped over it a fair bit. But yeah, uh, it was great hanging out with Mandy and getting to meet her, and um, yeah, going out detecting in a different location um, yeah I think we'll be going out at a later date and um, I'll get Chris to come along as well um, but yeah good couple of days kind of digging around it was one of those weeks where I had a really successful week the week before but this week it wasn't as good but that's prospecting for you um, yeah I should mention I don't know I'm I, I don't want to mention Pado because I, I don't know Pado. I never knew a Pado. And um, Seal and Billy Billy, I don't, know, I don't know what's happened to them. They've just disappeared. So um, maybe send a donation to this weird coyote wolfy thing to help it get some, I don't know, some trucker speed or something like that. Um, send some likes and subscribes to help the coyote or coyote out. Um, Go over to Facebook, follow me on Facebook if you want. Also join Pan Up. Now, I know that there's all these things that I should be saying, but I can't remember what they are. I should thank all these people, all these people. So many of you left donations last video, and yeah, I'm completely blown away by that. You have helped me out a heap with that video, so. Bless all your cotton socks. I can't say enough about your cotton socks. They should be the best, the most fluffiest of all the socks in the whole world. You're all awesome. Um, now, I know a lot of you are tuning in to know who won the Way Up prize from last week. Well, here's the video of the Way Up. The very first person that guessed that, some of you are really close to it, but the very first person that guessed it was Gentleman Prospector. Congratulations, you have won some gold. I'll probably give you about a gram and a half or something, I don't know. Um, I know I did send you a package a while ago, but for some reason it didn't get through. I don't know why, so hopefully this time it happens. So yeah, congratulations, Gentleman Prospector or GP. Um, yeah, so thanks everyone for participating in that competition. I will be doing more in the future, pretty new, close into the future. So, yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this week's adventure, and I guess until next weekend, see ya! You could win this car, or all these crappy prizes. And now your host, 
Hi everybody, hi, and welcome to the internet's most popular game, Silo Bajun, and I'm your host, John Sparich. That's right, I play the role of Starchy P.I. in the hit series Bot Shop Prospector. If you want to leave, you vote for Gadzi's Fatality for next week's episode. Please leave your comment in the pink comment in the comment section. Now I gotta go and uh, chill out and relax. I might just some bake. <laughs> there you are, everybody!